welcome back to Fabulous Kitchen 5 here at the Culinary Institute of America. You know, the uh, chairman expects his Iron Chefs to always be reaching forward into the future. Let's hear from him now, shall we? An Iron Chef must be daring. An Iron Chef must take risks. So today, I will test your ability to innovate. Your tools, new technologies, and unusual ingredients. You're gonna have 90 minutes to prepare two small dishes that show us how you can reach out to the future. My family grew up in a ranch, and sweetbreads were one of the things that we used quite often. So we just poached them lightly in a little bit of stock and cream, then we breaded them in panko, fried them, and then we just did like a little bit of a, a sauce, and again, a little bit of chipotle. Um. This next dish we have, we have hamachi crudo, and we have three different types of beets on the plate. You have a beet paint, you have a beet puree underneath, which is actually made by the anti-griddle. Chris Cosentino. So what we have for you to start is a duck breast that has been smoked with ancient spice. This spice comes from the book of Apicius, the first cookbook. So the techniques used in this were smoke and... Smoke and sous vide. A yellowtail and lobster corn chowder with truffle. We took the tail of the lobster and the yellowtail, shaved truffle, celery, garlic, shallot, a little bit of cream, butter, and fish stock and sous vide it. You think this came out better because of the use of technology? I think it I think um, it made it easier to execute. You know, and it also took some of the fat out, which I'm sure is how you stay so gorgeous by cooking in a sous vide. The next one you have braised beef chicks. Season it, smoked it a little bit, and pop it into the immersion circulator. These are a little bit of sweet breads, onion, celery root, and talisha cheese. Were you inspired by this equipment? Are you going to use oh it? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. The immersion circulator, I think. I love 